today's video, I want to do a little Q&A, a little, you know, something a little more personal. A lot of you guys, I have some new subscribers to my channel, and y'all don't know much about me. Unless you went back and looked through all those videos that I have posted, which I'm pretty sure you didn't look through all of them. So anyway, I'm going to give a little background information about me, who I am, what this channel is about, why I started this channel, why I think you should subscribe, and keep riding with me for the rest of this journey. However long this journey may be, I don't know. But every time I get comments and like DMs on Instagram and emails and stuff like that, it, it just pushes me to make more content. I didn't really think that I would make this many videos, to be honest, I didn't. When I posted that first probation video like months ago, I really didn't think that I was gonna keep making all these videos. But when I get these comments, I feel like I have to respond. Not that I have to respond, but I want to respond. I wanna help people. Like this is amazing. You could just upload something and so many people can benefit like that. Like it's so, I don't know, it's amazing to me. But if you got some questions that I haven't answered, something that I haven't touched on, or maybe something I talked about and I didn't really go into too much detail, you can always send me a DM on Instagram. My Instagram will be linked down below because I answer that like way faster. And you know, maybe it's somebody out there who don't want all their business on YouTube. It might be personal, you know, it might be something that you're going through. You might actually be on probation. You don't want everybody in the comment section all up in your business. And I get it. So send me an email. My email is down below too. Or yeah, send me a DM. So I'm sitting at home chilling. Of course, everybody's at home chilling because of the situation that the world has been put in with this. I'm not going to say the word, but y'all already know. Y'all already know why we sitting at home doing nothing. Trying to be productive, so I wanted to answer some questions that I've been getting. And some questions that y'all haven't asked me, but I just want to share because I feel like it's time. Because I've been doing YouTube videos for some months now. And I wanted to get a little bit more personal, you know. So we could we could be here, you know. We could, we could be here. We could be friends, you know, virtual friends. But like I said, if y'all have some comments, some questions, something I didn't address, shoot me a DM on Instagram. Again, my Instagram is going to be right here. Right here? Yep. Right there? Mm -hmm. Right Okay. So, yeah. And also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed. I'm actually trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. Yeah, I don't know why. But this channel, I mean, people have really been subscribing. So, I feel like that's just a goal. All of a sudden, I want that to be a goal. I don't know why. But if, you know, you can help your girl out. Help me out. You know, share my video or whatever. But anyways, let's get to this Q&A. For those of you who don't know, I am a probation officer and I have been a probation officer for almost five years. Yeah, I can't believe it's been that long, but it's really been that long. This is crazy. It's been a journey. I'm not going to even front, but it's been a good journey though. So the thing I wanted to do before I became a probation officer was to become an orthopedic surgeon. A lot of people don't even know that and that's probably not even relevant, but I just thought I would answer that in the Q&A. Some people ask me, why you want to be? Why did you become a PO? Why did you want to do something like that? Out of all the things you could have did, why that is dangerous and some other stuff they be saying. I'm like, listen, I didn't even think I would stay in this profession that long. But when I got into it and I realized how impactful it was, how necessary it was, how important it was, I mean, I wanted to stay and, and to keep doing it. And then not only that, like... The job is, yeah, I say this on my videos, the job is stressful. But what keeps me at this job, I think, is the, mm, is the variety. I don't know if that's the right word. Is that the right word? Not the variety. What's the word I'm looking for? Mm, the diversity. No, that ain't it. Um, I don't know what the word is I'm looking for. I don't know if it's because I'm filming this video or what. But the thing that keeps me at the job is that you don't always do the same thing every single day. Like, if you work at Taco Bell, like, you going to work, you're doing the same thing every day. You, I don't know, some professions you go to work and it's just repetitive, like a call center job or, I don't know, a bunch of stuff. You're just doing the same thing every single day. Like, that's, that's not for me. So, with this job, you could do different things. You can go to court. There's days where you don't have to sit in that office all day from 9 to 5. Like, people don't want to do that. Well, I don't want to do that. I'm not the type to want to sit there and do the same thing over and over all day. Like, no. No. 
that ain't it. For me personally, I like the fact that you don't have to sit in the office. You can leave, you can go to court, um, you can go in the field and visit people at their house. Like when I tell you, when I go to people's houses, I don't go inside. Like, I don't even think we're allowed to go inside to be honest, but in my department, we don't go inside from the type of caseload that I supervise. So I don't supervise high risk offenders, but for those cases that I supervise, they're pretty much low risk. We're not like too worried that they're going to pop off and do some crazy stuff. So we don't, I don't necessarily go in their house. Like a lot of people, when I do visit them, they're like, come on in, let me get you a drink. Let me get you some coffee. Let me get you something to eat. No, no, <laughs> not doing all of that. But sometimes I do be wanting to go in. I'm not going to lie, y'all. Like, like, yes, I need some drink. Let me get a bottle of water or something. But yeah, we can't take anything from the defendants. So when you do start to go out into the field, if you are becoming a PO, if you are a PO, drop me a comment. Let me know what y'all do, how y'all do it. But I can tell you on the sex offender caseload and different caseloads within probation, they go inside these people's houses. They go in their refrigerators. They go through their cell phones. They, I mean, listen, what I'm telling you, what I do is just like a, a mere tiny, 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 tiny piece of what POs do. And this is what POs do in my area. Since I started this channel, I got so many comments from different POs in different states. They tell me all type of stuff that they do. Like, it's, it's way different. So, keep in mind, I'm telling you what goes on in my area, in my department, is not consistent across the board. Like, everybody, they don't do the same thing. Trust me. Okay, I had to switch arms because this arm started hurting. Like, holding this this, this phone is, is, a, is something. It's a beast. But anyways... A lot of people don't know this, but my name is actually Brittany. Yeah, my YouTube name or whatever channel name, whatever you want to call it, is your favorite PO. But my name is Brittany, so leave me a comment down below. Type, hey Brittany, if you made it this far in this video, I appreciate you. Thank you for commenting because that really does help this channel. I realize, like, the more people comment, the more YouTube actually recommends my videos to other people. It's, it's I don't know, it's crazy to me. But if you are a PO or if you know somebody who's on probation and need a little bit of help, hey, share my videos. Send them over here because I just want to help. I just want to help people. I just want to help make it easier because probation is, like, if you've never been on probation and you get into it, you're going to find out that, like, it's not what you think. It's expensive. You got so much to do. Like, your lawyer will not tell you the ins and outs of what probation really is, like. So I'm here to do that because I know a lot of young mm, juveniles, 18, 19, 20 year olds, they get on probation for the first time. They have no idea what they really getting into. So I made this channel to help them and to help people who want to be POs because I don't know, I just didn't see that kind of thing on YouTube. So after I posted that first video, like I said, a while ago, I'm going to link that video down below because I think it was. Okay, it was kind of bad, I ain't gonna lie, <laughs> because I was so nervous. Like, I didn't know what to say. I didn't know what not to say, so I don't know. Just go look at it. I'm gonna link it down below. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you already saw it. You probably already saw it. I hope you already saw it. Maybe that's how you found this whole channel to begin with. I don't know. But anyways, next question. What do you what do you least like about being a probation officer? I'm gonna tell you straight up. The the thing that I disliked the most when I started this job was doing drug tests, like supervising drug tests, having to be the one to go in the restroom with the clients. Like, obviously it was just women, but you have to sit there and watch them bust it wide. Like, listen, lady, ladies, if you have to go take a drug test, you do not have to bust your legs all the way wide like this. Like, like you, you, don't, you don't have to do that. You don't have to bust it wide open for your PO. A lot of the older women would do that. I don't know if it was because they wasn't, they were, they been lonely and they ain't had nobody look down there in a while. I don't know. But it seemed like the older women would go in the restroom and just spread ego like no problem. Like, listen, listen, Linda. <laughs> we don't have to do it like that. It's not necessary. <laughs> okay, but... The thing I like most about being a PO would be, like I said, I think the variety of it. 
you can go to the court, you can go to the field, you can be in your office. Um, you'll be a counselor, you will be a shoulder to cry on. Literally, you'll be the first person that they tell their good news to. Like, I don't know, it's just so many different aspects of it that I don't get bored with it. And the fact that I can work from home during this whole crazy situation that's going on in the world right now, let me tell you it's priceless. This is a job that's gonna be secure. If you need a job that you're gonna have long, you can have longevity in, uh, you can retire from, you don't have to worry about, oh hey, next week am I gonna get laid off? Because <laughs> truth be told, there's always gonna be some criminals. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to be disrespectful to anybody, but that's just what it is. It's gonna be people who break the law and this is gonna be one of the options. You go to jail, you go to prison, you get on probation. Like, it's, it's just one of the options. So job security is very, very important. Like now, a lot of people are not getting paid um, because their jobs are closed, they're shut down. Like my job is an essential job. So I'm still getting paid, I'm still going to work, you know. But luckily I get to work from home for half the week. So your girl is happy about that. I'm actually gonna post a video about how it is to work from home as a PO. Like this is my first time ever having to do this. So it's gonna be a learning curve for me. It's gonna be a learning curve for my coworkers because n none of them have ever experienced this either. So if you wanna see a video on how it is to work from home as a PO, leave me a comment because you know I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do it anyway if you leave a comment or not, to be honest. But <laughs> I would like to know who's interested in seeing that type of content. Like how, it, I'm looking at my computer, my computer, okay. Yeah, you see that computer? I'm, I'm That's why I keep looking this way because there's some questions on there that I'm answering for you guys. Another common theme that I see people ask me is for me to go into more details about certain things like salary, like my job uh, experience, how uh, I became a PO, like education and all this stuff. So I do want to go into more detail, but I don't know how much info to give. Like how detailed do y'all want these videos? Cause I can get real, real, real detail if that's what you really want. But at the same time, I can't, I don't want to give too much info and you're just bored and you're just like, okay, what, what is she talking about? Like, this is stupid. So <laughs> let me know in the comments below, how much detail do you want? As far as education, you have to have a four year degree, which I think I've said, oh, look at this, hold up. Which I think I've said multiple times, you have to have a, a bachelor's degree. And psychology, criminal justice, sociology, uh, social work, stuff like that. Uh, one of the humanities because you're working with people every day, all day. Uh, if you're not a people person, you you can still do this job, trust me. I'm actually like a really shy person. Oh lord, hold up. I'm actually like a really shy person, but I can still do this job. Like I don't know if you can tell, but mm, I'm not like this extrovert. I'm really an introvert. I talk to people when I have to. Like at work, it's pretty simple because it's work. Like I don't know, it just I don't know, it's different. In real life, I'm not gonna go out and just da -da 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 with people. Like I'm not. But at work, is it's easy, it's effortless because it's almost like a script. Like when they come in there, you are, you getting down to business. You know what you got to talk about. It's not gonna be any dead silence. Like y'all, it's, it's business. You know, it's almost different. Cause I was talking to somebody on YouTube Live yesterday, and they're like, "Oh, I can't do that because I don't like people." <laughs> like, I mean, you can still do it, even if you're a quiet, shy person, somebody who's not really outgoing and talkative. Listen, you can still do this job. To just open up, well, no, for somebody else to open up to you, I, I don't know. It's just priceless. It's just life. I feel like I'm the type of person that feels like. In life, you're either gonna be the person who's shut down, not saying anything to anybody, or you're gonna be the person who's open and rambling and rambling. Listen, it doesn't matter. You can be either type of person and become a probation officer. Have a good salary, have job security, stability, have a respectable, respectable, respected <laughs> profession because. Let's let's be real. Somebody tells you, "Oh, I'm a PO. I'm a probation officer, parole officer." Like that's something to be proud of. I'm not gonna even lie about it. It really is. I mean, I feel pride when you know somebody asks me about my profession and I tell them, you know, what I do for a living. I feel pride in that. I feel a sense of pride, which I think everybody should. Who's a PO, parole officer, um, law enforcement officer, fight whatever, a whole bunch of different careers. 
But I just feel like this is one of the careers that you can be proud of. You can like, hey, I'm, I'm doing this. Like, And like I said in another video, you, you're you not going to do it for the money. Like if you're thinking you're going to be a PO to get some bread, like no. No. I'm sorry. It ain't going to happen. If y'all have any more questions, please leave them in the comments below because I read all the comments. I actually love reading these comments and replying to everybody. Like, this is so bomb to me. Like, y'all have absolutely no idea. But like I said, I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. So if you could help me out, click that button. It's like down here, like red. Yep. It's somewhere down there. Yeah, help me out. Click that button because I'm trying to get to 1K. Don't ask me why. I really don't know why. I just want to hit 1K. It just sounds good, right? So, until next time, stay safe, y'all.